Hey guys, it's Ayvette. So today I decided to do a review slash lip swatch video on the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks. But also, I wanted to let you guys know about this cool app that I've been playing for a while now. And it is very, very hard, but trust me guys, it's really fun. So here's a little logo of what it looks like. It's called Best Fiends. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It's a very popular game. A lot of my friends actually play it as well. The only thing though is that it's kind of challenging, but a game wouldn't be fun if it wasn't challenging. So if you guys were curious, Best Fiends is just a puzzle game that has tons of characters that you can collect and build a team with in order to defeat the ugly slugs. And guys, there's tons of levels and special side quests based on the most popular players. And actually on level 30, it is so hard, guys. I want to see if you guys can beat me. So if you guys are able to beat me, then send me a screenshot on Instagram, tag me, and I will make sure to like your guys' pictures. So if you guys want to download Best Fiends, it will be in the link down below. And the best part is it's free. And also, I just wanted to thank Best Fiends for sponsoring this video. And if you guys want to continue on with the review then just keep on watching I don't have the full collection I only have six of them and I only bought the ones that I would realistically wear so I'm not going to fill in my lips under just because I want it to be the true color and I just wanted to outline my lips because I feel like it looks better and it gives it more dimension so I'm starting off with the lightest color here and this is in the shade satin ribbon so this is what satin ribbon looks like. I really like the look of it. It's really pretty. They don't feel too drying. I mean, they are a little bit dry just because they are liquid lipsticks, but they do feel really comfortable. Okay, now trying to take these off. It's really, really hard. Once they set, they're set. And now I'm just going to be going over my lips with my foundation brush. Now moving on to their next lightest shade and this one is called Baby Doll. Actually, I think this one might be a little bit lighter than the previous one. So again, this one here, it's called Baby Doll. This one is definitely lighter than the previous one that I showed you guys, but I do like how this looks on the lips. I just finished applying this liquid lipstick and look, nothing comes off. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of test this out on how it wears after you take a drink. See no difference at all. Stayed intact, it's perfect. My lips are going to hate me after this video. They really do cling onto your dead skin, I would say. So now moving on to another light shade. This one is in lace detail. So here is lace detail. This one is a perfect neutral pink color. I love it. So as you're applying these liquid lipsticks, they do feel like a moussey texture, which is really nice because it makes you feel really comfortable when you're applying it. I've been wiping really hard. Barely anything came off. Okay, so these are the last three darker shades, so I'm not going to be applying the lip liner just because I feel like this one would look fine on its own. This is the darkest pink. This is in the shade of Push Up, and it's like a nice, dark, rosy pink. Okay, so this here is Push Up. I really like this color because it is a very universal color. So this shade here is more of the a little bit out there colors. It's like a taupey light brown color. So let's just try this one out. By the way, this one is in the shade Corset. Okay, so right away I can say that this is not opaque. This color is very see-through. You need to put like a few layers on so I'm just gonna do one coat and then later on maybe I'll just build it up for you guys. The bottom lip is dried now. I'm gonna go ahead and try a second coat. So I do like this color, although it is not very opaque like the other ones. The other ones are really opaque, so I really, really like that. I like the color, just not the color payoff. This is the very last one and the darkest one, and this one is in the shade of Teddy. So this is what Teddy looks like. It's the darkest and it is a very nice shade. It does have kind of like a purpley 
ashy undertone but I really like it. This one also does have a little problem with the opaqueness but I feel like the darker ones just did need a little bit more work on more pigmentation. The lighter ones had lots of pigmentation. I love them. So that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please make sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Love you guys so so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.